Hello, how's it going? <laughs> I wanted to do a quick comparison between Oud for Greatness and Oud for Happiness from Inicio. Um, of course, once again, these are my opinions um, from what I've experienced on myself and on others. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We're go we'll get started with Oud for Greatness. This one came out in 2018, I believe, and they it has notes of, official notes of saffron, nutmeg, it has wood, oud, it has patchouli, and it has musk, I believe. Those are the official notes for this one. The way I perceive it on myself and on others is very different. So the way I perceive it on myself, on my skin, is... It has that darkness from the wood. It has that darkness from the oud. I don't smell anything floral in there. I don't, I, I smell a lot of patchouli. Um, but I also smell a medicinal note in there. So for me, it's all about that darkness, the oudsy, the woodsy, more, mostly woods, more like a dry wood. And on my skin, it's just, there's something medicinal in there that just really comes out. And it, might have to do with my upbringing because I was up, like brought up with like using a lot of oils and alternative medicines and all that kind of stuff. So this one kind of reminds me of that. There's something in it that on my skin I perceive it like that. I do not, however, perceive it on others. Um, I get the sweetness. I get that woodsy, the different layers of oozy, woodsy sweetness on others not on my skin though so that's kind of the difference between myself and others with this perfume um this one's quite dark i would say this one would be appropriate for like yeah so like winter fall winter and then like in spring especially here in california when it's kind of still gray outside like those darker days that might feel kind of cloudy this would be appropriate, not so much for summer, in my opinion, for this one. So, as we all know, these are initials. The projection is crazy. It will fill up a room with a few sprays. It's, I mean, the scent is gorgeous. I just wouldn't want to wear it for myself. I feel it's too heavy for my taste. But on others, I appreciate that sweetness, that woodiness on men. <laughs> that when, when they wear it, I, I adore it on them. Yeah, on me, it's more of the medicinal side of side of it so i i don't like it how it smells on me however then we have oud for happiness oud for happiness as i said in my first video opens up with like a very uplifting juice like vibe so like a fresh squeezed ginger juice with like citruses in there and there's some greenness like vegetal greenness in there and i love it I adore it. And between this one and that one, this one is brighter. It opens up more. It's more fragrant. It's more aromatic. It's gorgeous. And it's like a sweet kind of a spice, not like a cookie spice. It's a sweet spice. And I love this one so much on me. And I think if I was to smell this on someone else, which I haven't smelled this on a guy yet, but I would probably prefer this one over this one. However, I have smelled this one on a man and I love it. However, it's just this one is so different. It has that ginger note in there. It has something that's different and I love this one too. But for me, between the two, I would say this one's much more unisex than this one. This one is much more masculine with a sweetness in it versus this one's more unisex. Um, I wouldn't say this one is feminine whatsoever, and the reason I wouldn't say it's feminine is because it doesn't have floral touches, it doesn't have um, any like sweet, fruity notes in there, it's nothing like that. I definitely think this is this was marketed more for men, however, it's unisex to my nose and to my skin when I wear it. So I have one and one on each arm, but I, I already know what they smell like. So yeah, for me, it's all about that ginger note in there. I don't smell the licorice, which I appreciate. It might be blended. It's just probably really well blended in there. But I personally don't smell that. And I actually like that because I don't prefer um, licorice perfumes. If you do like licorice perfumes, 
I can possibly talk about that. I know kerosene has a very licorice predominant perfume. I don't particularly prefer that, but if that is your vibe, you should go check that house out. Um, but yeah, this one is more versatile also in my opinion. I feel like this one could be worn in spring, summer, fall, and even winter. I think this one's much more versatile in that sense as well. Versus this one, it's much more heavy. It's uh, darker, so I would I would stay to the colder times of the year. Versus this one is more versatile. Um, yeah, so I don't really like... Like, if I'm going to be doing a comparison, I don't know if someone else has done a comparison video on these two before, but th these are completely my own opinion. I try to not be biased. I go off of my experiences, both with perfumes and the, the senses that I get from it. So, those are my two cents on these. Overall, I, I like them both. I like this one on others. I don't like it on myself. I like this one on myself. I haven't smelled it on others. And yeah, that's just what I have to say about these two. Um, hope this helps somebody. I'm, this is really why I'm doing it, to just kind of help someone um, see what they think. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what everybody thinks about, about these two. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and hope this really helps somebody. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.